the current World Outlaws point leader from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, GRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel. All right, guys, we got a windstorm here, so Layla's getting all set up. Layla, how are you feeling today? Great. Feeling great? This is what we got here in the trailer, guys. Just a little update. Number one and number three is the newest stuff we got on the website and newest this year. We're going to have some new stuff coming out very soon. Don't mind the glare. We got lots of different hats. We got more hats dropping next week too, so really excited for those. Die cast wing panels, flags, socks, tumblers, lunch boxes. We got it all, guys. We're here at Devil's Bowl giving you an update. Uh, it's so windy out there, I can't really show you the racetrack. I don't think you're gonna be able to hear me, but here's Souvenir Row, and uh, it turned out to be a beautiful day. The pits were real soft. As you see here, this is what the pits do. But, uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been a little tricky here getting in. They, they started us a little late to park a little bit later, but uh, everything's good so far. So I think tomorrow's good on weather, so I think we'll get two nights into racing and try to get a couple more wins, get that 20 grand tomorrow. If you guys can hear me, we're at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Rumors are this is the last year for it. I'm guessing we're going to be racing here one more time at the end of the season. But uh, this is where the Outlaws all started, the first event ever in their history. It turned out to be a nice day. It was crappy earlier in the day, but sun's out, just windy. We just had the driver's meeting. It was uh, 31 cars, so still a three heat race format. Uh, I think we drew a 19. We're in the second hot lap group. I think the second car out and in. So we'll see what happens, guys. I won't make this video too long because if you can't hear me, it's a waste of time. We'll uh, see how tonight goes. And the current World of Outlaws point leader from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, GRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel. Opening lap for Noah Gas, 14.371.4.370. David Gravel's first circuit movie. Sixth quick at 14.182.14.182. Second lap for Noah Gas, 14.579. First lap better at 14.370. Second lap for David Gravel is a 14.257. His first lap official as well at a 14.182. Green flag waves for the start of heat race number three. Brent Marks leading the field. Brad Sweet in the second spot. David Gravel third as they reach the midpoint of the back straight away. Brad Sweet worked the bottom of the speedway in three and four, goes back to the cushion in one and two. Two laps to go for last year's World of Outlaws winner here at Devil's Bowl. Gravel trying to get closer to the big cap, but running out of time. Marks enters turn three. Works his way out of turn four to the checkered flag. Brent Marks getting the win in heat race number three. Brad Sweet finishes in the second spot. David Gravel comes home third. Brent Marks and Logan Shewhart bring us to the green flag on the opening night of the Federated Auto Parts Texas Outlaw Nationals. Marks jumps to the early lead. Brad Sweet to the inside of Shuhart. Jacob Allen down low in one and two as well. Marks leads it. Brad Sweet right behind him. And then the Shark Racing teammates battling side by side for the third spot. Shuhart on the top. Jacob Allen on the bottom. Jacob Allen third as they complete the O. Oh, Brad Sweet to the inside in one and two. Pulls even with Marks. They battle for the lead at the end of the back straightaway. Brent Marks now to the bottom. Brad Sweet up on the cushion. Racing for the lead. Out of turn four. Brent Marks keeps it. But the big cat is right there with him. Brent Marks now to the bottom in one and two. Brad Sweet may have showed Marks the fast line. Meanwhile, Jacob Allen still fending off teammate Logan Shuhart for third. Traffic soon to be a factor at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Wayne Johnson off the pace on the front stretch. Brad Sweet with another run on the Myerstown missile. Brad Sweet to the high side in one and two. Brent Mark slides up the banking to protect that upper groove. Sweet to the cushion. All the way through three and four. Brent Marks looks good down on the bottom of the speedway separated by just three tenths of a second as they complete lap seven of 25. 
David Crowell looks to the inside of Carson Macedo, can't make a move for the fifth spot. Macedo to the outside, trying to take that fifth spot away from the 11 of Buddy Kofoid. Macedo with a run out of turn number four, but Kofoid says no. David Crowell now to the inside of Macedo, slide job in turn two. Macedo tries to turn it back underneath him. They'll go wheel to wheel at the end of the back straight away. Leaders edging closer to traffic. Macedo battling with David Gravel. Cross Macedo trying to hold on to six, but David Gravel is right there to the inside. David Gravel makes the move by Carson Macedo. Now the race for the lead into three and four. Traffic right ahead of the leaders. The Big Cat's got to run off the top, and Brad Sweet takes command on lap 10. Brad Sweet makes the pass on the outside, rolling out of corner number four. Brad Sweet has taken the race lead. Traffic now officially in play as he works around the outside of Brian Brown. Brent Marks looking to the inside of that number 21, can't get the pass made out of turn four. David Gravel closing on the 11 of Buddy Kofoid, looking to race into the top five. Gravel from the ninth starting spot around the outside of Kofoid. David Gravel and Buddy Kofoid side by side for fifth. Give it the big game motorsports number two. Brad Sweet opening things up here as we approach the halfway point. A 1.1 second lead for the four-time and defending series champion. David Gravel not done with his charge now. A peek to the inside of Logan Schuhart racing for fourth. He'll go to the bottom of the speedway once again in turns three and four. Drift high on the exit. Leader working traffic into turn two. David Gravel continuing to close on the Shark Racing 1S of Logan Schuhart. 14 laps complete. 11 laps to go, and the lead has grown to two seconds. Shuhart works the cushion out of turn two. David Gravel on the bottom of the speedway. Now Shuhart to the bottom in three and four. David Gravel follows him to the low side of the Devil's Bowl speedway. Shuhart getting closer once again to teammate Jacob Allen racing for third. A three-car battle for third now shaping up down the backstretch between the Shark Racing 1A, the 1S, and the number two of David Gravel. Shuhart to the inside. Jacob Allen downstairs to slam the door. All Brad Sweet in traffic. 17 laps complete, eight laps to go, and a three and a half second lead for the Big Cat. David Gravel now, racing Logan Shuhart down the back stretch. Gravel to the cushion, Shuhart works the bottom of the racetrack, out of turn number four. Shuhart pulls away just a bit, and now Buddy Kofoid closing in. Kofoid couldn't make anything happen in one and two. David Gravel from row five on the move at Devil's Bowl Speedway. He's charged up to fourth and may not be done there. Gravel to the cushion in one and two. That cushion is so thin on the exit of the second corner. Gravel to the bottom in three and four. Can't gain much ground on Jacob Allen there. Meanwhile, the big cat coming to the two to go signal. Big, big lead for the Big Cat. Buddy Kofoid to the inside of Logan Schuhart. Kofoid now in the top five. Buddy Kofoid up to fifth. Schuhart trying to take it back from him on the exit of turn two. Can't get the pass made there. Good three-car battle for fifth shaping up as Brad Sweet crosses under the white flag. One lap to go for the Big Cat. Brad Sweet into turn three and out of turn number four. Brad Sweet dominates lap one of the Federated Auto Parts Texas Outlaw Nationals. Brent Marks finishes second, Jacob Allen third, David Gravel fourth, and Buddy Kofoid in fifth. Guys got the car maintenance all up. Scott's not on Snapchat. Zach, what are you eating, buddy? All a bacon toaster, bud. Oh, is that part of your diet you've been on? Strict eye ice cream and double bacon cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. Nothing but the best here out on the road. Watching some dirt vision, see how we did last night. Beautiful day here at Devil's Bowl. We just bird bathed the car, left the rig here, drove my t shirt truck to and from the hotel, and uh, beautiful day for a race. All right, guys, so last night didn't start off the best. I believe we were ninth quick. 
it's only three heat race format so he missed the top six by three spots uh third third in the heat ran third was catching brad just ran out of time uh obviously we weren't in the dash started ninth in the a main and uh you know we had a pretty sporty car we gained a spot early i believe got to eighth and then kind of got going there the second half of the race the last 10 15 laps past the 1s the 11 and uh the 41 and end up running fourth so i felt like we passed the most competitive cars last night you know we didn't get the hard charger but you know we were up with uh the really really good guys so a uh, strong night guys uh, looking forward to uh the second night here at devil's bowl paying twice as much money so looking forward to that and uh it's gonna get time better and i think we'll be really good so we will uh, we'll talk to you guys later james mcfadden second at 13 7 8 4. Leading the next pair out, the current World of Outlaws point leader from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel, and from Heartland, Wisconsin, the Anderson Pure Maple Syrup, Gibbsville Cheese, Sean Bigler, Rockville Bar and Grill, 17B, the North Pole Nightmare, Bill Baylog. Second quick for David Gravel on lap 113780, Bill Baylog now fifth quick at a 1403, 114031. Second lap time for David Gravel is a 13.849. First lap better, 13.780. Kofoid resumes the lead. Spencer based at a peak to the inside of David Gravel. Couldn't make the move for the second spot. Hunter Schurenberg holding that sixth and final transfer spot. He's got about a 15 car length gap between himself and the seventh place machine of Brian Brown. Kofoid gets the win in heat race number two. David Gravel comes home second. Second place in heat race number two. The driver of car number two, David Gravel. And David, I, I'm guessing that's the six just by the look of his face there. And Well, David, we saw you down here last night on the front stretch after the race looking for a GoPro that fell off your car. Were you able to find that GoPro? And it sounds like that's the second one. It sounds like you might need to fire the guy putting that thing on there. Yeah, I'm definitely fired, but the GoPro uh, is still running, man. I found it today, oh so uh, GoPro, sponsor me, man, here if you're watching Dirt Vision because I need more stuff. But, uh, man, that sucks to draw the six. Um, outside row is going to be better than the inside row on the start, but uh, obviously being on the front row tonight is going to be really important. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the extra five laps in the A main will help us uh, widen the track out a little bit. But uh, we're going to start way better, not way better, but better than we did yesterday. So can't ask uh, for much more than that, but uh, we'll fight hard all night. Back in the Toyota Dash. Kofoid jumps out to the lead. Macedo over the edge of the bank. He now wheel stands, getting it back onto the racing surface. He's fallen to fourth now. Brent walks to the inside for third. Macedo trying to come back at him. Buddy Kofoid leading it. 30 times around with a $20,000 top prize. The finale of the Federated All Parts Texas Outlaw Nationals is green at Devil's Bowl. J Mac jumps to the lead into turn one. McFadden out front, Buddy Kofoid second, Carson Macedo third, Brent Marks fourth, and David Gravel fifth as they reach the end of the back straightaway. Field starting to sort out, and McFadden already opening up a big lead over Buddy Kofoid. Again, lightning fast, Devil's Bowl Speedway, lap times of 14.2 seconds in the feature at over 107 miles per hour. And with laps being turned that quickly, traffic will be a factor on lap number four at the go. Brent Marks, sideways, Brent Marks, hang on. We are back under green flag conditions. Kofoid follows McFadden through one and two. Giovanni sells it to the inside to get by Spencer Baston for eighth further back in the pack. Two laps to go for J-Mac. And he's opening things up in front of Buddy Kofoid. White flag in the air, one lap remaining for James McFadden. Back 
back straight away for the final time and into corner number three. I think we'll see a shoey in victory lane as the Aussie takes the 20 grand top prize at Devil's Bowl. McFadden victorious. Buddy Copoid second. Carson Macedo third. David Gravel fourth and... All right, guys, Devil's Bowl weekend is over. We got a chocolate milk here from somebody, local Texas. It's called 1836 Farms. When it's in a glass jar, that's always a good sign. I'm pretty sure I've never had this one before, so let's try it out. Cheers. Not my favorite. I'm gonna go 6.8 on it. Wasn't that good. The HEB stuff is better in my opinion. The weekend is over at Devil's Bowl. Flew home to see my little baby boy. Say hi, Levi. It is 85 degrees. Me and the family again are steps in, so I'm not obese. Uh, Devil's Bowl was a solid weekend uh, night one didn't qualify the greatest had to start ninth in the heat race and uh, ran I'm sorry I qualified ninth yeah started third in the heat started third finished third that put me starting um, ninth in the a main and uh, we passed some cars I felt like we are probably uh, the most maneuverable car in the a main um, Brad was definitely the fastest car but I think we maybe had the second fastest car there that night and ended up fourth. So was real happy with our effort there in the A main. Uh, the next night we qualified a lot better. Qualified fourth quick. Um, started on the outside pole of the heat race and was able to run second. I think we were actually fifth quick. I think we were fifth quick. So we started outside pole of the second heat. Started second, finished second. Drew the six in the dash. was a bummer. Um, was able to get a good jump in the dash and fell off the track like Macedo did and ran sixth. And then the track was just so wet all night long. They overwatered it. Terrible racing track. Probably the most boring feature of the year. But started sixth, ran fourth. Uh, that's the best we could do for that situation. And uh, move on to the next one, guys. So two fourths this weekend. Not bad. Um, US 36 and Wichita coming up. So... Looking forward to those uh, two unique racetracks and uh, should be good racing. So I'm going to enjoy the week here at home with the, with the family. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon. Please uh, check out shopdgr.com for merch. Please give this video a thumbs up. Ring the bell for notifications. And if you are not subscribed, please do so, guys. We'll talk to you later. Levi out.